All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome back for those of you that have been doing these workouts with me every single week. I'm going to put you through a quick foam rolling sequence. This was kind of a request from a client of mine or my recommendation for a client of mine that is super duper tight. So I thought instead of making separate videos for my clients, I thought I would post one for you. So foam roller, if you ever join my mobility class live or on YouTube, on Thursdays, we usually use a lacrosse ball. We don't usually get in with a foam roller, but this is an easy way to kind of self-massage, uh, release some tightness. So we're gonna start on our backside. So your glutes are gonna be sitting on that foam roller and I like to cross one leg over. And then you kind of roll your hips towards that side. What this allows you to do is kind of roll through that glute and some tightness. So my client of mine this morning was telling me that she was on her spin bike on her Peloton and her knee was hurting her. One of the things that often happens if you've been taking on fitness, if you've been taking on your workouts, is that if you are not taking the time to stretch, you can get really tight and potentially injure yourself. So other side, same thing, roll to that side, rock your hips back and forth. And what you should feel is that you're rolling, kind of massaging along that glute. Right? If you guys have sciatic issues, you may feel like that kind of impingement there because your piriformis is that nice big muscle that goes across, bends over that sciatic. This is a good way to release it. Good. And then I like to go to my hamstrings. So you're literally going to have a seat propping yourself up, hands behind you, rolling back and forth. And depending on how much pressure you can take, you can always bend one leg over. So this is literally going, rolling the back of my hamstring. Good. So we are going to go live in about 10 minutes inside my online studio. So I have a membership site where my clients join me live uh, for daily workouts Monday through Friday. And this has been going on through COVID. So when COVID happened back oh my gosh, March 2020, I closed down my fitness studio uh, where my clients would join me live every single day in person. I mean. But when COVID hit, I had to switch everything online. So now I run an online membership studio where people join me on Zoom to do their workouts, right? So we're going to go live in about 10 minutes. So this is going to be a really short sequence. Good. So now I flip over so that I'm going to roll the front of the blocks, right? And you want to ideally start from just above any joint. You never want to put any pressure on joints or bones so that you can roll right along those blocks. Good. So I'm going to show you on this side. So I come down almost in a lunge position. Maybe I'll put this side so you can see me. Lunge position, starting at the top of my quad, and I go all the way down. And you can walk your hands so that you can rock yourself. And if you don't have the flexibility, the mobility to go all the way from the top of the knee all the way to the hip, that's okay, right? So you can break it down into two parts. Oh my God, let me just speak. You can break it down into two parts, right? Lower portion. And I like to roll to almost the outside of the IT band and then turning myself forward, good? To the top of the quad. And then you can go farther down to bring yourself almost to your hip. And again, forward. And then if you want, you can roll into your tummy so you can get into the inner thigh, right? Same kind of thing. Rolling in, allowing it. So oftentimes, one of the things that causes me pain if you are a Pelotoner, if you've jumped on the Peloton bandwagon, is that your quads get really tight, right? All that cycling tightens the quads. And if you don't release that, and the hip flexors, if you don't release that, you're gonna be getting that quad nice and strong, pulling up on the knee, causing knee pain. So rolling up the quad is a really important one. If you're the type of person that gets uh, back pain from your Peloton, check your positioning, right? The Peloton instructor should really walk you through how to set up your bike appropriately, how to engage your core, how to minimize that bounce. I was an instructor for over a decade, actually. Um, so I'm very familiar with spinning, right? So make sure, check your positioning, and then spend some time stretching your quads and your hip flexors. So one of the things people don't recognize is that your hip flexors, those nice big muscles through here, right? They actually attach to your lumbar spine, right? It goes right deep into your back. And the challenge with that is when your hip flexors get tight here, it pulls on your lower back, causing lower back pain. So stretch those hip flexors. This is an easy one, right? Hip flexor on, 
right? It's not a lunge in. You want a literally pelvic tilt, engage to get through there, okay? So when I finish stretching out my quads on this side and rolling into my inner thigh, I like to flip over and go into my uh, calves. So li literally taking the foam roller. You can keep your butt on the ground depending on how much pressure you want. And I turn those toes inwards. And if you join me uh, on my YouTube channel and you need more mobility classes, we do a full 45 minutes on Thursdays. And that is there on YouTube if you ever want to check it out. If you need more accountability, you can always join us inside my online studio. Um, that's where people are really looking to level up their fitness, really looking to level up their consistency. I don't know if we went, if we died here. There we go. Level up their consistency. Yeah, that was for you, Belinda. <laughs> My client just jumped on. Making this video for her. Um, right, so rolling. Uh, sorry, so online studio where people show up for consistency, right, for accountability to make sure that they have support while they're looking to level up their body project goals. Um, Good, roll it, roll it, roll it, good. Then my favorite is taking it to the lower back. So I tuck my chin here, support my neck, and I roll. So this isn't right on the spine. This is really hitting the rectus spine. So those nice juicy muscles on either side of the spine. That's where you're gonna feel this. Tuck that chin, oh, making sure your hair does not get caught underneath the bone roller. And it feels so good, right? It's a nice massage. I don't know if my live is going, if this is still rolling, there we go. Right, so I like doing the lower back, right? So just here, not too much pressure. This should never give you pain, right? Never ever give you pain, but this should be a nice roll through. And if you guys request it, I can show you like a full sequence. This is really lower back, lower legs. I like it for my back um, and shoulders. Tuck that chin, but you can get into your lats, right? You can get into your obliques, your back obliques slightly. Um, this is just a simple, simple sequence. So you guys, to get into your body, stretch out that body, right? Prime that body before you get into your workout. So we're gonna go live in a couple minutes inside my online studio, but let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for joining me guys. All right.